Hey guys, what's good? It's your boy Pookie here. Right, we have another Feu model, uh, Eagle Desert 6. Uh, this is pretty similar to one of the versions I have reviewed before, except there is one big difference with this. The fact that it's called 6 gives you a clue. It's six-wheel drive. This thing is an absolute beast. It's got a full metal different, um, full metal six-wheel drive differential. It's got a 7.4 volt lithium-ion battery with, uh, I believe it's at 3,000 milliamp. We'll have to double check on that. It's got bar bearings throughout. It's fully proportional with the steering, um, and it's also got a brushless motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take this out of the box now and see what's inside. Da -da. Da, 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 da. We've got the box, similar package to how the other version is. So we've got the transmitter in it. Ah, yeah, no. This thing is long. I've got to take this out. Put the polystyrene aside. Don't need this. Daddy, ah, oh, I broke it. Oh no, I broke it. Never mind. We'll take this out. Give it a little wiggle, it's probably attached by loads of Velcro tyres. Yeah, well that's what we'll do then. But we'll get the truck out there now just so you can see it a bit more of its glory. It's a pretty nice truck. I like, do you know what, I like the fact that it's got space at the back here. This you could probably do a bit with it at the back, you know, mount FPV cameras. You could put, do you know what, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even mind mounting, mounting some sort of like little rocket turret on the back. That you can turn left and right and actually fire real ro rockets. That would be pretty dope. Maybe a future video? We shall see. Let's see what we get inside this box. This will be pretty much the same, like, box that we got with the last one. So a transmitter, should I say. Not box. But everything in this box is the same. So yeah, we have the transmitter there. Nothing too special. Pistol grip. One of the things I do like about this, though, is if you're left or right-handed, you can switch around. So you've got basically two modes with this depending on which hand you use for driving so that's always a nice little touch Let's see what else we get in the box let's just take it out balance charger you know nothing too special probably take a couple of hours to charge your battery so depot pick up an imax charger they're worth every penny you know it takes a couple of hours with these batteries to charge on this with the imax charger you can do quick charge but also after you've done a good few you know quick charges it's always best to balance charge and it gives you that option as well which is still faster than this so defo pick up a proper hobby charger so what i'm going to do with this now i don't think there's much else to go through i think it's just a few bits and pieces obviously you get the standard pack that you get with oh, a bit of light reflecting them uh, the standard pack that gives you the different models on there and it also gives you the parts list the numbers and what odd bits and ends and we also got that it just basically tells you a little bit more function so you get 50% off 70% range um, all the models should be in power off all right that probably makes a little bit more sense we'll try that one because I didn't try that with the last one because I didn't get this piece of paper all right, all right. we're gonna take it out of the track anyway <laughs> so yeah we'll get it out see how good it is on uh do a little bit of off-roading what else is there much to say about it except you know let's go and see what it can do so yeah catch you on the set uh, catch you on the track guys so upon further inspection with the transmitter i found that it has this high speed mode and a children's mode and a little switch there but it does say that if you do put it in the high speed mode the life expectancy of the car will obviously be reduced because the, the differentials will obviously shred after time, but it's like that with any RC car. So it's just nice to have that option, though. You know, if you you know if you're buying this for a kid, keep it in that kid, you know, keep orientation. If you obviously you're going to be an adult, you're going to do a bit of racing with it. Flip it up to the red. But either way, we'll test out both modes and see what they all do. So yeah, that'll be interesting to find out.
Thank <laughs> you.